of Christmas Eve. Just thought I'd get in early. Wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a happy and safe New Year. Um, you know, it's been a shit couple of years for a lot of people. So I suppose this time of year, mental health is a big issue for a lot of people. Reach out, say hello to the person you haven't spoken to for ages. You know, you've noticed they've been quiet. Give them a ring. Let them hear your voice. Anyone on these boards? You know, I've met a lot of guys and we've known there's a lot of great people this year. There are a lot of them are our classes mates now. So, you know, you are struggling. Don't be ashamed to speak up. No one's going to judge you. Everybody's here to help you. Someone's always going to want to. Happy to take you for a ride, take you out for coffee, a glass of milk, a beer, whatever it is. But, you know, this time of year, a lot of people struggle. The struggle is fucking real. So, please make a difference, everyone. Ring someone, check in on them. Whatever it takes. But mainly, you know, everyone have a good Christmas, be safe, and um, hopefully I get the drive to the next year. So, Christmas Eve, change of plans. I was going to do the run Wiseman, St Albans, Wollumbai, blah blah blah, and through Hout Valley and back. Wanted to do it with, you know, no stops and decent pace just because that's what I like to do but decided it's been lots of um, single trails we've ridden past at this end of Jillaby that I've always wanted to come in and have a look at and see if we can get the bigger bikes through a lot of them just to you know mix things up a little bit so why not do it today so I'm by myself obviously I'm the big girl and um, you know we're going to have a bit of a play See what we can um, come up with. Looks like they've had a fair bit of rain up here. Uh, hopefully it's not too shit and I get fucking bogged, then we're gonna have an issue, but oh, we should be right. There was one somewhere just here, I think. I'm assuming most of these just swing along the main road here and come in and out, so I can't imagine them being too, too much of an issue. Right, they're famous. Famous last words. If you have to run along here now and I'll probably miss them all, but... Um, Crack at that one. We'll go up there and come back around. It was one on the left that I really wanted to try. Might come back to that one. This is a lot rockier than I remember. Yeah. Could be a very boring ride if this is all I get end up doing. I need to just take the plunge and dive into one. Let's go back to this one. I reckon this one comes out in the other way. So we'll just go back and have a look at this one. Get some backwards. It goes both ways. Oh, where's that go? Have to play on that too. Shit, tracks everywhere. I'm going to get lost here. All right, so that's that one. All right. So that's just a bit of a loop. But there's a bit of a single 
ducked off somewhere. Oh, looks like that's it there. It's a bit of a shit entry. Let's have a look at it from the other end. There's another one down there too. campsite bit fucking tight on the big girl isn't it where the fuck did they go These fucking cylinder heads are gonna get in my way Like now. Cool. It's going to be a very slow video, people. Right. Bounced off one tree into another. My hand sort of jammed in there. Right. Right. This one may be a little bit. This one may be a little bit too tight for the big girl. Still fun. Right, so we may not worry about that. We could do the first bit. I think the other bit might be a bit technical for most people. Anyway, it's still fun. A couple of trails, other trails in there. What else we got here? That's where I went in. What's this one? Well, that was a waste of fucking time. to find that entrance there's one that looked really cool and then there's another one on that side on the right side too there we go went down this one i've already been stuck down that one yeah i've been down that one i've been down that one uh, i lied haven't been down that one Excuse me, people. All right, when I find another one, I'll um, come back to you. This is the start of one of the singles I've always wanted to have a look into, so here we go. Cool. 
not too hard so far. Cylinder heads, bang bang. Lots of fallen trees along here. More. That's a pretty cool little section. That's where the fuck's this end up? Which way do we go, Sammy? I guess this will lead us back out to the main road. Well, that's one I can remember. Oh yeah, that one comes out here. Well, that's one we can add to the list. Oh. That's the white men's. So we'll just... Wonder what happens if we go left there. Haven't checked that one out yet. How about we give that one a whirl? Let's see where this goes. Normally we hit the track and go right. Let's see where left goes. I don't know why the fuck I whistle so much. the rain I wanted it to do. So this is where it starts. Unreal. Put this one on the bucket list so far. I think I've hit the cylinder heads four times so far. Oh, this could be a problem going uphill. That corner. Well, that wasn't very clever. Got my, my fucking thing open anyway. Whew. I meant to turn that camera on too. 
All right. Should have known better. Anyway, it's what it is. All right. One, two, three. Right. Get your hip in there. Pose myself. Joints have been a fucking short ass. <sighs> right. Woo. Ah, <sighs> oh, you dickhead. Still got like 30 pounds in the tires, which probably isn't the smartest thing because you can feel them sliding everywhere. Okay. Wow, that is another one on the fucking list. That is crazy fun. Alright, have a break so I can catch my breath. Past another one here. Uh, we'll have another look. Lobs everywhere. Right. Maybe a bit too tight. I don't think the fucking heads will fit through here. They won't. Wait, that's a fucking bother. Let's try and come around here. How much tighter does this fucker get? I think this one's just too fucking shitty and tight. I'm off a you know, pushing the boundaries a little bit, but uh, should just be coming back out to the main road, I would have thought. Yeah, the main road's there, so. All right, let's try and get this sucker back. Sorry, I'm puffing like a whale. I would have considered myself fairly bike fit, but wrestling a 220, 30 kilo behemoth through this shit really tests you out. I'll start again when I'm moving. I go around that tree where I was stuck. 
I did walk down a little bit, so I think we'll be pretty right now to get back on the main trail. So this will be another loop. Just fucking struggling to get through all these trees. It's not really adventure bike terrain, but you gotta live a little, people. Whoa, more fucking logs. Oh. Right, here's the main road. here have a bit of a rest well, I think it actually just heads straight back in there or oh, it does a little loop there ah fuck it let's have a go fuck it. yeah right there's trees down everywhere here I don't think I'm into fucking bush fashion I think we can go out there. We'll give that one a miss till there's people to move the trees. keep bouncing around all right let's have a rest all right so i found another one i actually did ride up around the um the fire trail um just to see where it came out to make sure it just didn't dive down into the depths of the valley so it seems to have just followed the top of this ridge so sort of from where my finger is to across to here somewhere i think anyway You'll soon see a fucking pretty orange line, I guess. Fuck, straight away, it's too tight. <sighs> I know everyone whinges about tire pressures are irrelevant, tire pressures are irrelevant. Well, I beg to differ, so. 30 pounds, I think, is a bit too much for this sort of shit. Miss footing. Zero traction on the back wheel. I'm trying the new Rally Z Moto or Moto Z Adventure Rally Z or whatever. I had the just plain adventure before that, and um, 
I will be honest, I much prefer that. Another one we can put on the bow. Another one we can put on the list. Have a rest of the next section. They're prime, I love it. So my next not so beginner friendly ride, I'll bring everyone out here. And we'll just hit those singles. Can't seen that I haven't seen one. Oh, I saw the two bikes back there getting ready. I haven't seen anyone else. Uh, I think we'll cruise along. I think the next stop is like the Pines. There's a couple more singles up in iron off out there. So, you know, we'll go and have a crack at them. Might let a bit of pressure over the back tyre, mainly the front tyre off. What about the front tyre? 28 or something. I'm definitely struggling with the grip at the back. Down that one. So many fucking fallen logs. They've even been taking it easy and you bottom out on them. Where else would you be doing on a Friday morning, day before Christmas? There's another one too, I wouldn't mind. But there's trees, lots of burned down shit. We'll give that one a miss. There's two, I think it is, right up near the pines. They've been iron off. See, when they come back out here, it means they've pretty much just run along the top of the ridge. So I'd have to ha hazard a guess. You're not really going to get yourself into trouble. If it just fucking disappeared down there, I'd be... A little apprehensive. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that one looks good, eh? So much for taking it easy. Oh, whoa, deeper than I expected. I should put the rear camera on. You can just see how little traction the back of this bike's got. We're still following the road, so not too concerned. Got more logs. Logs are like sand, you automatically panic for no reason. Wee! That's going down a long way. Not sure we want to fucking tackle that. Let's be sensible and have a look. It's turning away from the road. Now we go back out there, I think. I think there's an escape route here for a reason. Uh, 
Whew. I'm tempted. Excuse me, that was a bit disgusting. It is going down. I'm not so worried about going down. I'm not too fussed about going up, but if it's rocky and we're by ourselves, we need to be a little bit smart. It goes around. Uh, we'll just. Right, we're here on the side of caution today. Because I'll be pissed if I miss Santa. So, another guy there. As you hear me say, I'm going to take it easy to get to a certain spot and then have a look. I'm full of shit. 100 meters, 200 meters up the road from that last one. I found this one. So we're gonna have a crack at this. I've put, um, I've let 10 pounds out of the back tire. It's still on 20. See if we can get a little bit more hook up. Um, yeah, let's give it a crack, eh? there so it's pretty cool sweet another one to add to the list all right now no more till I get to the points oh fuck look there's another one there concentrate sand this rating not going to be owned by lunchtime. That one comes out there, that'll be prime. Oh, and another one. Oh, I've done that one on my enduro bike. That other one, but I reckon it'll be prime. I think from memory, that one's got a few fucking shit. Anyway, a few fucking things. Another one. I get a bit of rain. I think I'll be struggling to fucking actually make the house valley today. Having too much fun over here. Can't rate this bike high enough if you've never ridden one. Have a crack on one. I'm actually riding because I'm doing the singles and that today. I'm actually riding with the traction control, traction control totally off. Normally I just cruise around in um, enduro pro mode that gives you enough, you know, slip to have a few power slides and usually get up 90% of the hills. But um, the single trail, especially back there, was way way softer and slippy than you think. I've got a camera mounted on the back, I need to start using that and you can actually probably hear and see how bad it was. From memory, we came ground. 
come down that road. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You've got drugs. Oh, fish biker. You can have that all to yourself. Each to their own. Back the fuck up. That looks cool. I think we might have to turn around. Well, that one must go right. Oh, uh, let's get turned around. Oh, get the right gear, Sammy. It must come out here, does it? Yeah, it looks like it does. All right, let's. Please, Slippy. You need to put it in here. Ah, oh, why do I have to choose this fucking spot to come in? Deceptive fuckers, aren't they? they just hug the edge. Right. You know what? I'm going to stop here. I'll try and reach around and put that back camera on. see what it looks like. Gonna work? Good boy. <laughs> see this is a frustrating I gotta get neutral before I can start it. Fucking hell. You don't like mud. Pretty crazy. Another one to the list. Uh, too tight. Too tight. Actually, I better stop turning that camera on. Probably wasn't that good, huh? Good introduction into the back camera world, but... <laughs> and for those, for what it's worth, the 10 pounds did make a difference. Oh, that's that one that come along there, that's a nice one. I'll have to have a crack at that one next time. Going, let's come out. Oh, still going. Oh, we like that one. Looks very twist tight there. Still going up there. Wow. My demons are telling me to go back to the start. Comes out here, I'm guessing. Comes out here. Oh, and keeps going. Wow. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, we're coming into the pines. I held up to my promise. I didn't do anything. Like the little tracks, there's plenty out there, so 
you guys all owe me a rerun uh, but I want to show you a little spot we found like it's but I'm sure plenty of you have found it before but for those that haven't I came up here and camped when I first got on my camping gear for two nights and um, mad little spot that you can get to by the bike like you can get into the camping ground easily enough get into the campground easy enough but um it was just here beautiful little spot down by the water like it's just a normal campground like you don't get too carried away you get excited I haven't fucking found that oasis but you know if you're on your bike by yourself or with your missus or whatever Um, unreal place to unreal place to put in unreal place to camp slow down Then I'll go back to the pines and have some deep. I might talk to these two guys there on adventure bikes. Do some networking and make some friends. The fuck? That guy's got a boat. Wow, living in a boat. Some trail bikes. All set up. So yeah, we came down here. Snuck into here. This little spot here. Look at that, prime. And the creek is right there. So it was fuck, it was a beautiful spot. Spent two nights here. Loved it. Anyway, that's in the pine, actual pines camping ground. Oh, it's that tree root there to get. Alright. Anyway, that's enough. I'm gonna go back and have a rest and I'll talk to you later. Do this bit of single trail with the mates on the enduro bikes. more grandkids.
nawet. That's fucking cool. I don't think it's here. Coast Road, Brush Peak, Yarram along. Whoa! I thought there'd be more people out here. Murray's Run Road. Ah! Wonder if that goes out there. I think it does. Let's give that a crack. Let's see where that goes. I think that goes all the way down to Wollombi. If I'm not mistaken. Oh. Right. Note to self. That was very soft. guys I saw in the pines and then um, overtook on the way to here. I think they said they were going to go Murray's Run to down here to us come out here Wallaby. As I said I'm shooting navigation so let's just see where we end up. 17k so it sounds about right. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow down, Sammy. Fuck, there should be some prime singles along here. No, maybe not, there's houses. Anyway, I'll let you know where this comes out. So, currently on Murray's Run Road, I think. So it was really nice, Fitcherman Twisties. It's now just turned to dirt. It says it's 17 k's long. I've only did three or four k's on bitumen, I'd imagine. Which means the rest of 
that it's all gonna be heavily slidey fun. I bet there's a lot of fucking corrugations, I know, more bitumen. Some cool old houses out here, that's for sure. Yeah, this one's for sale. Two houses side by side. started there and it finished here, it doesn't look like they did shit. See if old mate let me pass. Not that I'm in a hurry anyway. Cows killing back by the stream. Really makes me wonder why they do a hundred meters of bitumen and then goes back to dirt. I don't get it. Unless it gets the property owners pay to have that bit out the front of their house. Be careful not to shower them in rocks. Do the respectful thing. to live out here is no more. I've just gone down the shop for milk three days later. Run. You can probably get 